welcome to Edupedia World. We are here to have a look on supply chain performance measurement. Measurement or the performance is the reflection of an organization. Performance measures represent the systematic attempt to learn how responsive an organization's product and services are towards the need of the customer. It is represented in terms of the responsiveness of a product or a service towards the satisfaction of the customer. It is also represented through organization's ability to pay its suppliers, employees and stakeholders. Companies have a goal of satisfac satisfying their customers and make reasonable profit in this process. The measuring of the performances offer an effective method of determining whether the organization is meeting its goals or not, whether it is achieving it in an efficient manner or not. For customer satisfaction, each and every activity must be performed effectively and efficiently. They have to carry out several activities for effective and efficient execution of all these processes. These activities may include the procurement of the raw material, the conversion of the raw material into finished or semi-finished goods and the delivering of the finished goods to the customer. All these activities must be performed in a very systematic and a scientific management. On the basis of this detailed discussion, we'll have a look on the definition of supply chain performance. As far as it is concerned, it is the measurement of systematic attempt that is related with the learning of the responsiveness of an organization as well the ability to pay its customers, employees and stakeholders. As far this concept is considered, it has its approaches. These approaches are measuring input, managing performances, managing output and measuring efficiency. Now let's have a look on the first approach that is related with measuring input. Inputs are the resources that a company uses to produce goods and services. These inputs may include human resources, financial resources and material resources. All these resources should be reflected by a number of activities that are concerned with these sectors. These activities include suppliers performance, they may also include the quality of the material supplied as well the timeliness of the supply. Now come to the second factor that is second approach that is related with managing processes. As far managing processes is concerned, it includes a number of manufacturing and supporting activities. All these supporting and manufacturing activities should be executed in a systematic manner. All these activities may be of different types such as the inventory control, the store keeping, the packaging, inspection and quality control. The performance measure may include a number of factors as well. These factors would be the inventory turnover ratio, the utilization of the production. Now come to the third approach of performance measure. This third approach is related with the output measure. As far the output measure is concerned, it is reflected by the volume of the goods produced, the quality of the goods as well the cost of the goods. We may say it in the form of the volume of output produced, quality of output, 
as well the cost of output. These are some of the output measures that we generally use. It is a mean of quantifying comparison in between actual result and the intended result. We will have a look or we have an analytical approach towards quantifying these actual and intended results. Now come to the next approach that is efficiency measure. Efficiency measure is represented through unit cost or productivity associated with a given outcome. The unit cost or the productivity associated with a given outcome is the reflection of the efficiency measure. Thank you for listening.